this weekend, we take time out of our busy schedules to honor our mothers. And a great way is with a toast. Andrew Pellegrino from DAS is here mixing up something special for Mother's Day. I love this idea. Always good to have a cocktail. Cheers to mom. Before we get <laughs> cheers in, though, what are we making? We're ma making a blackberry bourbon Arnold Palmer. Okay, I'm kind of breaking that down in my head. I like an Arnold Palmer, love blackberry, and then with the bourbon twist, right? Because yeah. normally Arnold Palmer is made up of what? Just lemonade, lemonade and, and sweet tea. So there we go. Yeah. I'm liking this. And here's what's interesting. I'm getting to know Andrew because we actually have a morning blood welcome to Andrew. He's been a dad's for a while now. The first time you're here with us, so glad you're in. But you're kind of going back to uh, where you're from with this drink, right? Yeah, so I grew up in uh, Mobile, Alabama. And as a kid, my mom always had sweet tea in the house. And then we also had a creek behind our house that grew wild blackberries. And so we'd always have a bowl of blackberries. So this is Aww. kind of, yeah, reminds me of my mom. I like that. Yeah. Well, again, if you want to go ahead and, and celebrate on Mother's Day, of course, you can go out and see Andrew in person. Because what I just realized, too, that Mother's Day, biggest, busiest restaurant day of the year. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. Wow. Learn something new every day. Let's go ahead and learn how to make this drink, though. Okay. What's the, what are the keys? So we're going to start off, we're going to be muddling two blackberries. And you know, there's something so much better about muddled fruit versus just like the fruit syrup. I have grown to appreciate that because of you guys and the drinks that you do make. Yeah, and then we're going to be using three quarters ounce of lemon juice. So not lemonade, lemon juice. Lemon juice. And then since uh, you're going to be making this at home, we're not going to use a jigger. We're just going to pour it up. You want about two ounces, but what's nice about this drink is you can go a little above or below the, the amount of booze you need to make it work. I without, like that. He, he's, he's making it like you'd make it at home. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, we're gonna, it's right here. I like to not strain the fruit out. Interesting. But you can obviously do that if you would like. And then top it off with a sweet tea. And one of the things too that we do love about you guys at Dats, you always keep it fresh with different drinks here and there. Can we get this drink there now? No, this is just for a recipe at home. Oh, just for the recipe at home. Yeah. What if I came in and asked very nicely though, Andrew, definitely make that would you, you. Could, would you oh, do yeah. that for me? Yeah. What would this be called if I had to sweet talk you into making it? Oh, that would be uh, Tanya's Lemonade. Oh my, That's Tanya, my mom. your mom? Yeah. Aw, I love that. Recognizing your mom, Andrew, if you want to recognize your mom and have a wonderful brunch, lunch, dinner, anything, of course, you can go visit the fine folks at Dats for yourself. There's the information on your screen. Okay. You got to come back and visit us again, right? I can do so that. So are you going to do another uh, drink to honor someone in your family next time? I'm giving you the challenge. I probably come up with something. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. okay, see, this is what we're going to do. Now that Andrew's going to be a regular on the morning blend, we want drinks to honor people. That is the task. You can do that. I like it. Thank you so much for Thank coming you. in. And as always, you can get more information on our website if you're interested in any of the drinks or, of course, go out and visit Andrew yourself and ask nicely for Tammy's Lemonade. Thanks again for coming in.